Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're... What? No, jeez. Let's not be hasty. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who? As soon as you have any... Enjoy your stay, knowing you're in our kitchen. expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Welcome back to the rest of humanity. You're no longer alone. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... Well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. Ah, your question confirms one of our recent theories. It would seem that some form of faster-than-light travel or space-bending technology was invented during our long journey. That would explain why we would find people this far out into space. I guess technology leapfrogged us at some point. Interesting. I can only imagine that our predecessors didn't believe the technology would ever work. And so they made the decision to leave. Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. Well, Dr. Hey, Costa, you may return you to your time, quarters if you I've wish. I've been thinking about some Thank things. You. Wanted to talk to you I about... will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. 
I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Luke Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Just because our equipment's old, doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. Never seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't seen any ships before. The you galaxy is hard. So, here we are. I know. Let's talk. Stop by sometime. Let's talk. Just us No matter the outcome, I won't okay. let my crew down. Mm, difficult is the wrong word. It can be both challenging at times and also exciting. Our mission was to rebuild humanity on a distant world, believing that we were Earth's last hope. To think that while there has always been a Brackenridge in the captain's chair, that I am the one to finally oversee our journey's end is truly exhilarating. But with this stump... Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Ah, oh, so they have a name. Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we intend for them to see this our way. So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. Thank you, and Godspeed. Want this. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. Hey, hope you're enjoying yourself. I just feel that we should be focusing Make on the natural time for beauty you. of this planet. Keep it quick, yeah? Not our amenities. I am. And you must be the... diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we... Ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so...
Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right on. Oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract. Of course, there's no telling. But this may save them. And which proposal? Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good. There are so many hospitable planets out there. More than enough for everybody. And the best part is, nobody has to die or become indebted or anything. An elegant solution. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any... Got a minute to chat? The resort facilities Maybe a few minutes. Probably not hours. It's my plan. not cheap though. It's a pretty big app. True. I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Perhaps this... I hear you. I'm still willing to talk. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. You're done right it is. I recommend you go. We'll send the part along. Pleasure working with you. space and here you are welcome I have a million burning questions but I won't over how did you do Like out there beyond our little community. 
give my well well it would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now thanks the engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships turns out it was a pretty easy fix thank you again for all you've done hmm. payment I hope that's not all you care about it's not enough Still, 